we're coming home and doesn't it look great welcome along to qualifying at silverstone the home of the formula one world championship and we thought we'd have 20 drivers going for pole today but we've got 19 brendan hartley big crash down at brooklyn's today and his car hasn't got time to be rebuilt this is what happened he put the brakes on and the front left wheel came off absolute explosion with the suspension failing there the British fans and the Williams fans are not going to like that. Now, is that down at Luffield? Is it Brooklands? So it's another and a red flag stopping the session almost immediately. It's just dropped it under braking and then you start the downshift process and it's locked the rear axle. It's like pulling the handbrake on very hard effectively and uh, it hasn't hit the barriers, but he is out of qualifying. Someone else has gone off. In the background there, you can see Sergei Sorokin's Williams. I love this corner. He more, doesn't. More than Sergei does. So that's both Williams then, the back end of the car, very unstable. As the chequered flag is out, there will be no Hartley, there will be no uh, Stroll going through the Q2 as Gasly goes 11th. We're now looking at Stoffel van Dorn, only 17th fastest. He's out in Q1 for McLaren. Sergei Sorokin can't get out of Q1. Both Williams knocked out in the first part of qualifying. Carlos Sainz is in the drop zone at the moment and has just got a few more corners to try and sort things out. Perez is also down there. Hulkenberg is also down there. And one big name could be going out now at the end of Q1. Carlos Sainz crosses the line, only 14th fastest. Sergio Perez will be next to cross the line. We look for the, the Pink Panther and the Force India crossing the line now. He goes 11th fastest. So Perez should be out of uh, danger and not a problem. Hulkenberg is in the bottom five. Not anymore. His teammate Carlos Sainz drops into the bottom five as Hulkenberg puts his Renault in the top ten and the big name that drops out unexpectedly, Carlos Sainz knocked out in Q1. Roman Grosjean puts the Haas in seventh. Either Grosjean or Magnussen could become today the first Haas driver in the team's history to reach Q3 for three consecutive races to show the improvement of that team. Watching Leclerc now through the Vale chicane. And he's currently 15th because he hasn't set a time so far. What's his first time like? Good enough to take him into the top 10. Ocon now, round the final corner, trying to improve his position inside the top 10. He can't. He stays 10th. He's in danger at the moment. Kevin Magnussen is next, crosses the line, 8th fastest. So he stays in the top 10. Sergio Perez is 12th. Ocon's out, qualified him again. Fernando Alonso can't get his McLaren into Q3. That's his qualifying over and done with. Here's Perez now. Thought he'd finished his lap. He hasn't. He does actually stay 12th. He wasn't improving on it. Marcus Ericsson uh, gets uh, knocked out of qualifying he's 14th fastest his teammate Charles Leclerc is next to cross the line ninth fastest for him Grosjean stays in the top 10 and we do have two Haas drivers in the top 10 for the third consecutive race Haas have got a driver one of their drivers and both today into that uh, Q3 position Pierre Gasly is on a personal best lap it could be that Toro Rosso spoiled Esteban Ocon's day uh, not quite he moves ahead of Mark Marcus Ericsson, but only in the 14th. What about Nico Hülkenberg, though? Still scrapping away for Renault. He couldn't improve on his time either and stays 11th fastest. And Hülkenberg might have outqualified Carlos Sainz today and keep up his record of always outqualifying his teammate at Silverstone, but he can't get into Q3. Onwards now towards the Veil vale chicane we come. Kimi Raikkonen has a 126.2 on the board. Kimi Raikkonen has been out qualified by Vettel at the last eight races. Can Lewis Hamilton beat Kimi Raikkonen's time and put his car on provisional pole? Yes, he can. First man this weekend into the 125s. Hamilton's arrived to the party as Valtteri Bottas puts his Mercedes on the front row as well. But we're looking at Sebastian Vettel, who is going quicker through the middle sector than Hamilton or Bottas managed. Verstappen's fourth, Raikkonen's third, Ricardo's fifth, and we're on board now with Sebastian Vettel crossing the line to spoil Hamilton's party by five one hundredths of a second. Sebastian Vettel, pain in the neck or not, has put his Ferrari on provisional pole. Got no DRS. Okay, then we are looking into the problem. 
Sebastian Vettel, a tenth down in the first sector. He's not found the time he needed in the first part of his lap. Hamilton crosses the line. Hamilton is back on pole position. They love that in the grandstands, but it is not all done and dusted yet. Valtteri Bottas will be next to cross the line in the other Mercedes. Can Bottas get on the front row? No. Valtteri Bottas misses out on a front row place for the first time in four races. Kimi Raikkonen, meanwhile, was very impressive through the first sector. Don't count him out of the equation just yet. Through the Vale chicane, Sebastian Vettel now was on pole position. Hamilton took it off him. Vettel crosses the line. He has missed out on pole at Silverstone. Hamilton survives one Ferrari attack, but there's another one coming his way. And this time it is the Iceman keeping his cool until the very, very end. Kimi Raikkonen, can he get on pole at Silverstone again? No, he has missed out. Lewis Hamilton gets a sixth British Grand Prix pole position. It is a record for this event. Yes, get in here. Get in there, Lewis. You can hear it, mate. You can hear that crowd. Nice work, Lewis. British Grand Prix pole. Hamilton ties Ayrton Senna in Brazil for the most poles by a driver in the home Grand Prix and sets a British Grand Prix record of a sixth pole position.